Hey everybody, what's going on? How you doing out there? It's me, Victor Sarong. Now, I have talked about this before, but I'm going to bring it up again. When it comes to lending out money to your friends and to your family, don't do it. But if you feel you must, make sure either that they can provide you some sort of collateral. The collateral can be anything. It could be jewelry. It could be a piece of land. It could be gold. It could be something that in case they're not going to pay you back, you can at least have something in case they don't pay you back. And perhaps cash in that collateral and then you got your money back. Maybe you get a little more or maybe you get a little less back from the collateral. But hey, at least you got something back. But all in all, do not lend money to friends and family. Unless it is a desperate situation. And what I mean by desperate situation? It could be a life and death situation. And what's a life and death situation? Uh, maybe perhaps they owe money to somebody else. And that person that they owe the money to, like a loan shark, is coming to kill them because they can't pay up the money. And you love this friend or family member so much that you don't want to see them die. Or get Injured very badly. So yeah. Loan them the money. But still. Make sure that they have the collateral. To pay you back. But. Here's the thing. If. Your friend or family member. Owes somebody else money. And they're gonna. Do them some sort of bodily harm. Perhaps kill them. Because they can't pay the money back. Themselves. What makes you think that they're gonna be able to pay you back. Just because you were very kind hearted. You see people. Friends and family members. Do not care about you being kind hearted. They just want your money. Now. Family members. Are one thing because. You know a lot of people say. Blood is thicker than water. Um, that's my family. I got to help them out. You know, it's it's an emotional thing. So, I understand with family members, there's a lot of feelings involved. But when it comes to friends now, friends are just friends. Friends come and go. And as a matter of fact, if you're too nice to your friends, they're going to dislike you. They might even hate you. And as a matter of fact, what I'm telling you is referred to in the 48 laws of power. You know where they say don't put don't put too much trust in friends. Well, when it comes to your friends, okay? I'm I'm saying friends now. Don't be nice to them. As a matter of fact, if they ask you for a favor, especially a monetary favor, don't do it. Be mean to them. If they don't want to be your friend, so what? You can always find another friend. Friends are very easy to find. They're like billions of people in this world. Here in America, there are millions of people in America. Hundreds of millions of people in America. Here in Miami, there are millions of people in America. So I can easily find a friend. Friends are not that valuable. They're not. They're not very valuable. Yeah, you have very few friends, but even those very few friends can turn on you. And, you, you, and let me tell you something. Loan a friend money and see how much of a friend they really are to you. Now, when it comes to family members, I understand. You have emotional attachments to family members, especially close family members. But even so, you still also got to put your foot down and be like, look, I can't help you out. You see, when you have money on you or when you got money coming to you, whether it's through work, investments, uh, perhaps some sort of business you started, people are going to look at you with 
dollar signs or with euro symbols or with pound symbols. You people are going to look at you in terms of money. They're not going to look at you as much as a human, but they're going to look at you more as a, a bank. Also, remember, when it comes to friends and family members too, once you start loaning out money to them, they're going to have some sort of jealousy towards you because they see like, okay, he got money. I don't. So I'm going to try and get some money out of him because he got money. I don't. And in a way, it's not fair because I should have money too. Or I should have as much money as him or her or even more. You see, people who, who borrow money from you, or people who, who are constantly borrowing money, their mentality is different. They think differently. They think very differently from, a, from a, a person who's financially stable. You see, me, I don't ask for money. I don't ask my friends or family members for money. What for? I try my best to make my own money. As long as I'm physically able to make my own money, and mentally able to, to make my own money, I will do that. I will not go out and beg and, and ask for a loan from friends and family. I'm not gonna do that. As a matter of fact, people, I'll tell you like this. If you are going, the money that you spend, yes, spend on loaning out money to your friends and family because in reality, you're spending money because you're probably not gonna get it back. That money, I would say you better off just probably donating it to a shelter for the homeless. Or in reality, have fun with the money on yourself. Go out to a party. Go out to a club, a bar, or whatever. Because, hey, if, if you're going to like blow money on friends and family, you might just blow it on yourself. Or just keep the money. Just keep your money. Guard your money. Your money is very important. Stop loaning out money to people. If your friends and family members need to borrow money, they can go to a bank. They can apply for a personal loan. They can get a cash advance from a cash advance place. Let them do that. Let them struggle because you struggle to get your money. You work hard for your money. You had to use your brains and you're born to get your money. Let them do the same. Anyway, people, it's me, Victor Sarung, and thank you for taking the time to listen to what I had to say.